I tweeted out, the Celtics have zero excuses to make the finals. Zero. We dodged the heat in the in, in the first round. Right? And a lot of people in the court retweet say, we dodged the heat, dodged the heat. Man. I'm just saying, we got the easier matchup out of the two. Can, can we be objective on that? Can we be objective? Like, we got the easier matchup out of the two. Everyone going into that playing game, one thought the Heat was going to fucking win. Two was prepared to face the Heat in the first round. And three, when Atlanta won, a little bit of a sigh of relief. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. A little bit of a sigh of relief. Let's keep it a bean. Let's keep it a stack. Second point. Joel Embiid is injured right now. Joel Embiid is injured right now. It looks like he's not going to play at the very least this game tonight. Um, Lowe even tweeted out that there might be a possibility of him missing the whole series, if not the whole fucking playoffs. I'm going to put out those tweets. Lowe actually has sources now, I think, like legit sources. Um, I was told that the Sixers are on the brink of ruling and beat out for the rest of the playoffs. And then he also followed this up by saying, sources say if Embiid plays, he will be far from 100%. I don't... When did Lowe get sources? Like, for real, for real. Shout out, shout out to Lowe, man. Um, we're running through arguably the toughest matchup within the conference with their best player, arguably the league's MVP, arguably the best player of this year, injured. Point number two. Point number three... If it wasn't going to be Philly, what many people thought was going to be the hardest matchup for us, if not regardless of Philly, the hardest matchup for us, was a healthy Milwaukee Bucks with Chris Middleton back. And they were eliminated by the Miami Heat in the first round. Point number four, and this is kind of a weak one. I'll, I'll say out of, out, of, out of all of these... It's kind of a weak one. They look like they're about to be healthy um, by the end of the series. Jimmy Butler and Julius Randle are also suffering through injuries right now for the Knicks and the Heat. You know I'm saying I'm, I'm hoping these aren't serious injuries. Again, by the end of the, their series, that they should be healthy. But even that, it's like they can't even be fully healthy is essentially what I'm saying. Right? And then regardless of what happens, again, going into the playoffs... If I told you, coming out of the other side of the bracket, we didn't have to face the Cavs and the Bucks, I'll be jumping for joy. We don't have to face the Cavs or the Bucks, and we're facing the Knicks or the Heat. I'm, I'm keeping it a bean. I'm jumping for joy. That that right there is a best case scenario. Period. Point blank. Even if we get the Knicks. Even if we get the heat. To a lot of people. That's a best case scenario. And also on top of that. Along with the Lakers. Along with the Warriors. Along with the Nuggets. Along with the Suns. Actually a lot of these second round teams. Never mind. Um, I'm going to just say in the Eastern Conference. We're the only team left. Right now at least. That's healthy. And I didn't have room for it in this tweet. Not only are we healthy, but we have the talent. We have two All-NBA caliber players leading our squad. We have, on top of that, two All-Defensive caliber players on our squad that might actually make the All-NBA team this year in Marcus Smart and Derek White. We have the sixth man of the year, Malcolm Brogdon. We have one of the best defensive rotations from the guard slot I've ever seen in Derek White, Marcus Smart, and Malcolm Brogdon. Robert Williams is healthy. Al Horford is still good for an Al Horford game here and there. Last time I saw Grant Williams in the playoffs, he was actually playing good. Greg, Greg is saying in the chat, Sam Hauser is actually fucking good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, 
I, I'm, I'm looking at the path that we got and period point blank. Anything less than a finals appearance at this point is a disappointment. And Chad is saying Embiid is ruled out for tonight. So there you go. But I'm looking at the path that this team has, the talent that we have, and anything less than the NBA Finals at this point is a fucking disappointment. And I know y'all wanted me to keep the same energy for the Celtics, the same way I kept it for the Bucks. This is me doing that, bro. This, this, this is me doing that. There's no excuses, bro. There's, there, <laughs> there's no excuses. Anything short of... Uh, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I, I won't even go there. There's no excuses, bro. I, I don't know what to tell you.